Hey, what's going on, City Slickers? Um, I wanted to tell y'all, I'm uploading that video, part two, of the, the fishing trip, but it was a big, big problem. The footage was great. Meeting everybody, that was great. The bad part is the sound. The sound is horrible, man. Jesus. I feel bad. I really feel bad. But, um, you know, it was a lot of people. I was talking to them. I was telling them, check me out. You're going to see yourself on YouTube. So I feel like I owe it to them to um, at least put the video up. But I'm apologizing now for the sound. The sound is horrible. I think this will be my last video that I ever upload. But uh, so much noise and it's just... Oh, man. And also, today I think I'm chopping this down. I can't do it no more. I can't. You know, I love my hair. I like the way it feels. I like when she scratched my hair. You know, it's nice. But I can't do it. It's too hot. I don't know. So I feel like it's time to go. So, um... I'm, what I'm going to do is... I like to train my hair. When I go to barbershop, I like to train my hair. So, for example, right now, my hairline is... I'm pushing it back because I'm going back. Well, my Caesar, I'm pushing forward for my waves. So I'm messing up my hairline right now. I just pushed it back by doing like this. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I like to prep myself. So what I'm gonna do is wet it, throw a little bit of gel, put my do-rag on, let it settle um, to like my regular haircut. And then when I go to barber shop, I take off my do-rag and it'll be much better than me going to barber shop like this with my curls, it's just messed up, it won't come out the same. So let me start that right now, I'm gonna start the process. All right guys, this goes out to all you guys, all single mothers that have kids with hair like mine, you'll be lucky if they do. Uh, my hair's like universe, not that Taino. <laughs> you know, if anybody tells you, oh, how you get the waves, this and that, it's just, it's this, I think it's the hair. Uh, but there is a lot of products out there that would definitely get, 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 um, help you get waves. I'm sorry, my father's, he stutters and sometimes it comes out of me. Get, 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 God dang it. <laughs> All right, um, so check it out. I wet it, I put a little gel to hold it down. Now I'm gonna put my do-rag and my waves should be popping out within 35, 40 minutes. I'm gonna just start cutting my own hair soon. I'm tired of this. Um, my barber just moved. So he's in another spot, but it's just down the block, so it's not bad. But I still go back to the old barber shop. I got our friends there, good peoples. So, all right, let me uh, put this on, and I'm gonna see you guys in an hour. But it's amazing, right? The way my hair, you just seen it, it was like an afro. And uh, it didn't wanna come down. As soon as I put a little bit of gel, it started flattening out, and then I start brushing and brushing and brushing. Now what I'm gonna do is put the do rag on, so it could dry up a little. Once the gel dries up and the do rag, you're gonna see waves only. Now when I go to the barber shop, I just need him to line me up and bring it down a little, and I'm good. So um, if you have a boy that has hair like me, you want to transform his hair from an afro into a Caesar, do what I just did. It'll help out. And, um, you know, because when you go to barber shop, his hair is sticking out. So I like to prep my hair. And that's this is what you have to do. A lot of people just go over there and tell them, hey, make me look like Tom Cruise. Come on, bro. Yo, I want to be Denzel. Take a nap. When I wake up, I want to. No, you have to do it. It all starts in the house. Same with the children. Don't expect the school, the school system, that's teaching kids history from the pilgrim days that we, it's, we're never gonna apply that. You know, trigonometry and all this stuff, there's a lot of stuff that we're never gonna apply it, but we have to study it because of the school system, they teaching us history. History, they teaching us history, but their history, they're not teaching us our history, where we come from. They're not teaching you when they took over Puerto Rico to Spain. They're not te teaching you when the slaves, you know, uh, they brought the slaves, they're not teaching none of that. They teaching some other stuff that we never gonna apply that knowledge. So everything starts at the house. 
Don't expect the school system to take care of your children and expect you'd be like, oh, my kid is retarded or he's sick. He doesn't get it. No, those kids' parents teach their kid how to write, how to read. They don't just leave it all to the school system. The school system can only do but so much. So you teach them, the school system will shopping for you. That's it. But it starts at the house. Because I see a lot of young women out here, you know, they know how to party, they know how to dress, they know how to dance, they know all the songs to all the Cardi B's, to all the trap music. They know all that trap music. But they don't have five minutes to sit down with their child and teach them something that'll make his life or her life a little better tomorrow. Then they mad, oh, he needs special attention, he needs a special class, special help. No, you need special help because you're not teaching your child. So teach your kids, guys. It starts at the house. You know, uh, I know a lot of people, man. Uh, you know, my kids, I worked a lot, so their mother helped out a lot. I give it up to her, uh, my ex-wife, Yolanda. She helped, she did a lot. And also, um, when I get home, you know, I, I, I get with them too and I, I teach them. But like I said, it starts in the house, guys. You have to teach your kids. Don't expect the school systems to do everything and then you're looking at the school system like they fail. No, they didn't fail, you fail as a parent. All right? Remember that, guys. You gotta teach your children, man. If you know all the songs, you know how to curse your man out, you know how to dance, you know how to drink, you should know how to give your kids at least one hour out of the day. All right, let me put my do-rag on. All right, guys, I got my do-rag on. She's good to in a freestyle, no well, so I had to slam the door. Um, I'm going to give it about 40, 40 minutes. I'm going to get dressed now. I'm going to call my barber, see if I can um, go see him and jump on the chair. I just finished shaving. I was going to, you know, hook this up like this. But and then all that hair making me itch. And then there's a lot of gray hair over here. Too much gray hair, so I figured just cut it off. Leave the gold teeth, and that's it. Um, yeah. Just shave. All right, guys. See you guys in about 45 minutes. Not even that. 40 minutes. 30, 40 minutes. And my hair should be dry. And um, I should have my waist back. All right. All right, guys. I'm back. I had my do-rag on for 30 minutes. I didn't do 40, I should've did 40. It would've been better, but as you can see, my waves are back. Not bad, not bad. All right. All right, guys, I'm gonna go to barbershop and I'm gonna see you mañana. Like I said, I apologize for that other video. What I'm gonna do is, right, I'm gonna upload this first. Um, I had I made a video going to see my mother in the cemetery. All right, I'll upload that one after. Uh, I'm gonna upload this, then upload part two of the fishing trip, and then um, I'll upload going to see my mother in the cemetery in two days. All right, guy. Peace. Green light, puppy you heard. Shazam! Sorry about the sound on the next video. I apologize. But I got to put the video up because there's a lot of guys waiting. Shout out to uh, the Barbershop Factory. Shout out to my Albanian crew. Shout out to the uh, Island Current 2. Shout out to Ron. Shout out to Captain Peter. And shout out to Sammy. Shout out to Joe Stacks. And shout out to my man Fresh. Peace. Later.